कि मल्टी यूटिलिटी अनमैन ग्राउंड व्हीकल बेसिक फंक्शन इट है इट कैन परफॉर्म थ्री फंक्शन फर्स्ट इट कैन लिफ्ट दी ब्लाइंड शेल्स फ्रॉम दी फायरिंग रेंजेस विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द रोबोटिक आर्म इट इज़ अ सिक्स डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम रोबोटिक आर्म इट इज़ कंट्रोल विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द जी सी एस ग्राउंड कंट्रोल स्टेशन सेकेंड फंक्शन इफ यू रिमूव दी रोबोटिक आर्म वी कैन प्लेस दी स्ट्रेचर एंड वी कैन मूव दी लोड्स ऑन इट अप टू टू हंड्रेड के जी लोड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर सेकेंडली वी कैन इवेक्ट द कैजुअलिटी विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द स्ट्रेचर सो इट इट इज़ परफॉर्मिंग थ्री फंक्शन एट ए टाइम इट इज़ अ बैटरी ऑपरेटेड ट्रैक रोबोटिक प्लेटफॉर्म रगडाइज एंड एबल टू नेगोशिएट एनी टेरेन साइज ऑफ दिस साइज इज वन बाई वन मीटर वन बाई वन मीटर एंड वेरी इट इज़ अ ट्रैक प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वेरी रगडाइज and how much, of, how much of weight can it lift it can it, uh, robotic arm can lift up to a weight of 15 kg and if we remove the robotic arm we can place the stretcher it can take a load up to 200 kg at a time how different is this uh, from what perhaps is already existing on the field existing one can perform only one function at a time but it is performing three functions at a time after removing this uh, robotic platform we can uh, perform two more functions and we have placed the this bars also for placing the uh, stretcher as well as the uh, this load carrying uh, capacity on that stretcher so it is it is that's why the name is multi utility unmanned ground vehicle now that you've come up with this what is going to be the next step next step we are making this autonomous and we are removing this robotic plant platform and we are planning to put a weapon on this so that is called tactical bombardment how much time did you uh, take to come up with this Six months, six months time of R and D, uh, and platform on the uh, with the help of the GCS. Uh, this is uh, with the GCS, and we are getting the feeds with the help of the camera. Two cameras are on the robotic arm, and two cameras on the robotic platform. So it is helping the controller, which is operating the GCS, to pick the lift. Blind shells and to operate remotely from a distance of 500. So, are you telling me that this is absolutely ready to be deployed yes, on the field? Yes, it is absolutely ready to be deployed. from breaking news detailed analysis in depth interviews and explainers follow the times of india subscribe to our youtube channel don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest